Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a split screen video using Magic's Movie Edit Pro. So if I open up my web browser quickly, I made this tutorial recently on time lapse video using Magic's Movie Edit Pro. That was just basically explaining how to speed up video content. So if you've done a tutorial that's 20 minutes long and you just want to show like a time lapse version of that tutorial or some content that you've created, then you can just speed up the video content. So go and check that tutorial out if you're interested in that. But in the comments down here, uh, Top Gun from YouTube asked can or have you made a tutorial on how to split screens two or four different videos playing simultaneously on one screen for example the front and rear cam footage from a bike ride showing both during playback thanks for sharing your knowledge you're welcome and let's make this tutorial for this guy let's help him out so what we'll do is minimize the browser inside this folder I've got four different videos right so it can be, we can do this with two videos, four videos, three videos. You can do it with ten videos if you want. It doesn't really matter. So we will open up Magic Smooth Edit Pro. I'm going to go to File New, and I'm just going to set it to NTSC 1920 by 1080 at 29 frames a second. Uh, that should be fine. And we'll click Create Project. And all we'll do is just take all the video clips and just drag and drop them into the timeline. It's going to ask me to change the frames per second because these video clips that I created in uh, Blender were 30 frames. So I'm just going to click adjust. So it will just set the timeline to 30 frames a second. And to make life a little easier, we'll just basically we want to drag one of these videos to the beginning, right? On the very top of the timeline, drag it to the beginning. So here we've got this video clip. If I play it, it's like flying through this sort of planet scene and you've got this spaceship thing going on. And this one is set to 20, I think it's around, uh, let's see, this one's around 20 seconds long, right? Just under 20 seconds. So these video clips are slightly different durations, but normally your video clips will be much longer than this if you're doing bike rides or if you've gone on holiday and you want to do something like this, right? So what we'll do is grab, um, what we need to do is we want to split, we want to split this screen into four parts, right? So we have one video here, one here, one down here, and one down here. So we want four parts. We should really save this work before um, we do anything else would be wise. So where is this? So here it is. Let's save it here. So we just need to do some maths. This video, what's important for you to know is what is the size. Now I expect most people are going to be recording at 1920 by 1080, 1080p resolution, right? So if I take 1920, that value, let's just go to the calculator. Do some basic maths 1920 divided by 2 will give us 960 so that's all we need to know is 960 so let's go back into magic let's click on this video clip here and we will in the effects tab here in this effects tab you need to scroll down to size and position and you need to set the width to 960 so now you can see it's going to take up quarter of the screen and then it's just about positioning it right so we can just drag it up to the corner here and we can refine that position in a moment. So really we want to set that position to zero, zero here. Okay, so next thing we want to do is drag another video clip underneath. And you can see this one sitting on top. So in Magics, the top layer is really the bottom layer and the one below that is sitting on top, um, if that makes sense. So this one's the top layer and this one sits underneath. And if we were to switch their positions, now you would see this bigger video in the background and then this one in the top. And if you want to do something like that and click play, now you've got both of those playing like this. But that's not the objective. We want to get this one in the background sitting on the side here. So let's click on that video clip. We'll drag it to the top here like this. We'll click on this video clip. And again, we'll set it to 960. Um, and we want to set the top position here to zero. And then let's just uh, manually do this and see where it's going to sit. I'm not quite sure. So what I'm doing is cl left clicking in here and dragging up. If I drag in the upwards direction, we can increment. Uh, it should really be 960, right? Yeah, 960, exactly. Now these will sit side by side. Let's do the next one. We'll drag the tunnel one here. And then we'll click on that one. And we'll set it to 960. And we want this one on this position would really be half of 1080 this position I believe uh, which would be what 540 540 and then that's positioned correctly then we can drag the next one down here and you can restack these in any order that you want 
but this one we want it to be again 960 and then the position here we want it to be 540 and the one here we want it to be 960 so if we go back to the beginning of the timeline let's just save this and what we'll do is we'll loop it a little bit so I'll copy this and paste it uh, let's just drag it to here let's copy this one and paste it and we just drag that here copy this and paste it and drag that here and we'll just shrink down this timeline let's just snap them all so they end up at the same time and then we're done so that's pretty much it let's just save this go to the beginning play it and now you can see all four video clips playing at the same time so this would be a nice little thing to do maybe if you want to showcase some of your blender work or your animation work or whatever you're doing maybe you just want to make a little showcase these could be different photographs like the guy said this could be uh, like a motorbike ride and it could be two people right the top one could be the front camera and the rear camera of one bike let's just go back and then the one below could be a different motorbike but the front and the back right or you could do whatever you want these these clips can be anything you want it could be from your holiday could be some one of them could be still images just uh, looping um, and then the other ones could be videos you can do some really creative stuff and they don't have to be exactly these specific sizes you can do stuff like um, click on this video clip for example and enlarge it right and then you can restack that in order so all you need to do is really let's get rid of these end ones just to show you uh, not this middle one these ones here uh, let's just delete these ones Here. so this one here is just about restacking the order so if we wanted that to be at the very top really this one here if we wanted to sit at the very top it should sit at the very bottom now that one will overlay a little bit bigger and the other ones will be like this uh, it's really down to your own creativity now how you want to lay these out I think it will be wise to have them all the same size um, but that's entirely your choice if you did some sort of widescreen shot you could have like really one really wide screenshot at the bottom and then two at the top. There's nothing stopping you from doing that. Um, you, can, you know, you just got to go and experiment now, I guess, and try and work out what you want to do. Let's try that actually. Let's click this one. And what we'll do is select it. Let's just drag it off the timeline over here somewhere so it's blank down here. And we'll click this one here. And in order to do that, we would need to turn off, um, let's see. We would need to, to make this fill the whole bottom here, we would need to set it back to 100%, right? So is that 50? So set it back to 100. Let's see. And we'll drag it to this position. Let's just set it to the center here. Zero. And then uh, we'll drag it up a little bit, actually. Let's set it to zero here. Let's set it to around here. Then that one will need to sit at the top layer. So left click here, click all of these. And drag them down and now that sort of uh, sci-fi thing is wide in the bottom here and now you've got like a three by screen ratio or free set up here that one looks actually the most interesting I think I quite like that one uh, and this video here you can click on it uh, let's see they're both positioned slightly differently so you need to delete this end one fix whatever you want on this and copy it across so let's just position it uh, it's better to use this tool here to move it up and down a little bit and maybe move to a frame where you can see stuff going on so I think it will be pretty good here I think that looks pretty good let's copy um, this one here paste it to the end drag it across so that will just loop a little bit right and then we'll drag uh, let's just drag this to here select all of them drag it to the top and then you can just fade them out at the end in different sequences you can do stuff like that so to do that we would want to move these timelines slightly so we drag this one here drag this one here so it's like a step and we can fade them and they'll fade out one by one rather than all fading at the end at the same time so if we click play now we'll see them fade out one by one that one and then this one right in that sort of sequence okay let's save this I want I want let's actually export this anyway because it will take only a few seconds so let's just see it full screen uh, yeah we'll leave it like this this is fine and we'll go to my normally I wouldn't bother exporting this but seeing it's such a small file <clears throat> 
we'll manage to export it and see what it looks like at full screen. So this will take uh, a minute or so. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video and once it's finished exporting, we'll check it. Okay, so Magic's finished exporting the video. We can close this down. And then inside here, we've got a uh, Windows Media video. So we can just open this up, make it full screen. Let's just set it to loop, uh, repeat. And then we can see that sort of, uh, this is all sci-fi based right, stuff. So I think that looks pretty cool. Um, it seems to make sense, right? It, the looping of the video clips could have been done better, but I was just showing you roughly how to do this really. That was just the, the, the idea. But um, yeah, hopefully you can have a lot of fun with this. This will be really good if you go on holidays and stuff like that. Um, you could do some nice video stuff and you could show three different locations that you've been to. Uh, you can do loads of creative things now. So hopefully this answers the the YouTube user. What was his name again? Top Gun, right? So I'm going to post this video shortly and then send him a link. And hopefully it will help some other people as well. Okay, let's minimize this. Let's close this. That's the end of this tutorial. And I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.